Hi everybody, this is Michael Hildebrand and I'm your host on the Sleep Trust Podcast, where I'm talking about how to gain back trust in your ability to have a superb sleep again. In this week's episode of the Sleep Trust Podcast, I am not going to talk about sleep. Rather, I'm here to wish you a merry, merry Christmas. And I think especially this year after what a lot of us went through, you might have lost your job, you might have been forced to do homeschooling, maybe had to do more home office than you ever wished to do, or other things happened that are kind of related to COVID. Maybe you weren't able to see your friends or your family as often or as closely as you would have loved to. So there were a lot of things going on. And I think especially in a year like this, Christmas is just so important. Like we get the time to lean back, uh, have a deep breath, um, think and reflect about what is truly important for us. Like I assume that you're listening to this podcast right now so you are alive which is a big coincidence. Like what had to happen that we are all able to live and think and feel on this wonderful planet. It's just super special. No matter what's going on in the outside right now, this alone is worth to think about and to feel deeply thankful. Uh, What is really important? Who is really important for us? Like, Is there a friend or family member that you might want to say something to, some you know, to connect to? Um, Let's get rid of the distraction, the daily distraction of work, of uh, outside demands, things we have to do, need to do, even TV and uh, all the other media outside. Let's try to get rid of that, not, you know, not like a monk and sink our smartphones into the toilet. That's not what I mean. But let's take a couple of hours every day this Christmas to spend time with ourselves, with our family members, with good friends, and talk about things that are maybe related to COVID, COVID, but Maybe not. Maybe there are other things that are important too, overall. In the end, I think for me, one thing, and just looking at the, the what's happening around COVID, um, one thing that COVID is, has definitely done is to force us as a population to think about our lives in a way that we are very aware that our lives are all going to come to an end at some point, right? It doesn't matter if you, uh, how healthy you are, how um, strong you are, how creative you are, how productive you are, how whatever. We're all going to leave this planet at some point. And I think COVID just made us aware of how fragile our lives are. We've got our health systems, we've got, you know, a big uh, health industry, nutrition industry, um, sleep industry. We've got, you know, we've got all of that in place. And it's good that it's all there. It's good that we take care of ourselves. It's good that we feel healthy, want to feel healthy, want to feel strong, be productive, uh, have a good night of sleep, obviously, too, because that's supporting nearly all of your, all of your and mine uh, important aspects of our lives. But if we break it all down um, to what is really important, then I think it's how we think about ourselves think and feel and think and feel about others that are close to us and maybe maybe even think and feel about others that we don't even know 
Like, are we thinking about others that need help? Um, and every time I, I truly feel really good and deeply connected, it's when I think about what I can do for others, like not expecting anything back for it. Um, also for myself too, like, you know, what, what, what can I do good for myself? Or am I, am I proud of myself? Like what? There are sometimes I, I create stuff and I think, oh, that's, I just love this. Like whoever gave me this idea or inspiration, I just feel thankful. I know it's, you know, there's a little part probably that we all put into the equation uh, and much, much more is coming from the outside, from what others think, feel, inspired us to do, gave us the opportunity to do. And thing of this is, um, I think, very important. And Christmas is just such a wonderful time to do so. Thinking about others, thinking about ourselves, spending time with others and ourselves. Um, maybe if you have things you want to talk about in your family or with your friends, things that you want to get settled or that should, that feel as if they are waiting to get settled and then maybe Christmas is a good time to think, okay, uh, what can I do? So how can I do the first step? How would this feel if I just feel that it's my, my responsibility because the other person is not able to do so? If he or she would, they would have done it, right? And if we would be able to or would have been, we would have done it. So maybe Christmas is a great time to think about that too and um, make the first step, make that first step. Maybe write a little letter, a card, uh, have a phone call, have a visit if possible and get into a very um, centered place all around the things that are truly important. And that, that's what I wish for you, for me, for everybody, like that we use Christmas in a way that supports that. And I think that's what Christmas is all about. It doesn't matter if you're religious or not. Um, I think this is just something that is uh, good to have at the end of a year for a society, for you know everybody who's living. It's kind of this time of the year where every, everything falls into this place. And I know there are voices out there that say it's all about, you know, commercial uh, stuff, buying stuff and so on. No, no it's not. It, it's a good thing to buy somebody a present. You can also gift somebody with something you didn't buy. That's an option. And nobody has said you have to buy something. But generally speaking, thinking about others and um, Making, doing something that improves or makes somebody else happy, makes somebody else's life better, will make your own life better. And I think that's what it's all about Christmas. Um, as said, I, I don't think you have to be religious to do so or to reap the benefits of this holiday. Uh, and I'm sure that if you do so, if we do so, and we take our time, this is absolutely going to, pay off. It's not about pay off here, but it will pay off because we're just going to grow to a better version of ourselves. And that's what I wish for you to do that, have a rest, get centered and focused around things that are most important for you. Do something for somebody else that is going to uh, reflect back to you, improve your life. And with that, you're going to be well prepared for a hopefully much better 2021 when it comes to uh, all the craziness outside. And I can tell you and share with you the last couple of weeks I've been working really hard. So I'm not only looking forward to have that rest too, but also to share a lot of new things, tools with you if you are having sleep problems at the moment next year to ease the process. You, you probably are aware that I've um, been sharing the Sleep Trust Sleep Map, which is a clear nine-step process to walk people that have bad sleep back to good, superb, deep resting sleep, high energy levels. And I'm constantly 
tweaking, not the nine steps. They're, they're fixed, they're proven, they're, they're there for you to use. But what you should be doing in these nine steps to ease that process, to make it even quicker. And uh, that's what I'm passionate about. That's what I'm going to uh, share with you next year, kind of the, the next improvements to make things even better. So that's what I'm ex excited about. And with that, there's nothing else to say except that I wish you a happy, happy Christmas. Take time for yourself, take time for others and relax into this holiday season. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this week's episode and that you tune in next week when we're going to talk about New Year resolutions. Then we're going to hit the gas and do things that are really there to um, for you to use to improve your sleep quality quickly. And until then, have a superb sleep and a happy Christmas. Hey there, and thanks for listening to the Sleep Trust Podcast. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you want to get further information on this podcast or material that will help you to gain back your sleep trust, please check out sleeptrust.eu. That's sleeptrust.eu, where you will get lots of information around sleep. And here comes some legal stuff. Everything on this podcast is my opinion only, so do not take it as an advice as I am not a doctor, nor have I considered your personal situation. If you feel that you need medical advice, please consider getting an appointment at your doctor of trust. If you want to give me any kind of feedback on this podcast, feel free to email me at podcast at sleeptrust.eu. I hope you tune in again next week, and until then, have a good sleep.